All right, so a lot of people liked my last video on Tepito. It was a short, but I guess some of you would like it if I went actually into Tepito. So here I am at the intersection where the market is. I'm about ready to go in to the most dangerous barrio in Mexico. Want some Hugo Boss, want some Tommy Hilfiger. Again, there's a couple things we should know about what's going on in the city in New Mexico today. Um, it's a little crazy. One is a Lucha Libre kind of uh, event that went on last night, and I think it's still ongoing today. So that caused a lot of traffic. In some of my previous videos from yesterday, you'll see that there were massive political protests because it's the kickoff of the political campaign for president. So, and if that wasn't enough, Taylor Swift's in town. So, that's causing a huge amount of traffic and what's going on inside the city. Um, so, with all that combined, um, there's a lot. And also, this is the last day before school actually starts here in Mexico City. So, a lot of families are home or they're at other places buying uniforms. Um, if you go to high school, you don't have to wear a uniform. But anything under high school, you're going to be wearing a uniform. And you have to actually purchase all that. So today's the last day for that. And as well, as you see some of these brands and wonder, is it real? Some of these brands are real. Like you're getting Tommy Hilfiger really cheap, Hugo Boss really cheap. Because tomorrow there will be another protest because Mexico City loves its protests. Uh, these are the, this will be the protest of all the, tra the trailers, the truckers, who are tired of not being protected, who are tired of being you know, pulled over on the highway in the middle of the country and being hijacked and all their stuff being stolen. And it ends up in places like this. So there's a lot going on in this city as well as what's going on in... Um, you know what's going on here in this market so it's an interesting market we're going to get to the antique stuff and the vintage stuff and so yeah i'm going to order a coffee my wife is going to order something If you want, you can get dog toys, chew toys, you can get all sorts of stuff, you can get hats, you can get sunglasses, and if you want, you can get faucets. So we just bought some fossil sunglasses. My pair of fossil sunglasses cost 200 pesos, and yes, they're real. So um, you can just kind of understand where they probably came from to be selling that cheap. All right, probably the best thing I've seen eaten here is, oh my dear Lord, I feel like it's Mexican, Texas. Those are potatoes, those are baked right over the grill. We got meats, we got sausages, everything. Oh, looks delicious. Once again, we come across another barbecue. Young lady here, probably been here for years. She's got the tortillas going, the meats, the sausages, the chorizo, the pork, the steak, the burgers, everything. It looks delicious. Okay, so this place is also known for the food. The cheese and hot dogs being deep fried. That's just the beginning. Because when we get down here, we're going to get to a little bit more fancier kind of thing going on here. We're talking meats and cheeses and platters. I mean, this is something you see gourmet. 
quite amazing. Quite amazing. Wait for the gentleman to let us buy. Those hats are awesome. We'll just keep going the other side. Of course, if you want some wine, you get some wine. Yeah. Some other drinks. Um, but an awesome place. And then you get to this place. Now, that is some serious crawfish and rice and corn. It's quite amazing. Oh, no, gracias. Uh, they're asking me, I don't really eat too much. When I want to eat, that's the end of my day. And you got these sandwiches here. We're going to go around to the other side, but this tapi area is definitely. And of course, you got another bar. You come here and get some chicken wings, some french fries, people having a party. Now, up here, you're going to see people getting their hair cut. Not just their hair cut, but their hair done. And it is just a blast. <laughs> yep, everybody's having fun, and that's all it's about. I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you like, you're having fun, you're having fun. Here's another place, you got another more barbecue going on. And again, one of these places, this is one of these places you do have to watch out for pickpockets. It feels like anywhere. Um, but it is, we are in Tepito, or basically right on the edge of Tepito. And um, they're saying hi to me over there. This is amazing. Um, so we are on the edge of Tepito, which is considered one of the, if not the most dangerous neighborhood in all of Mexico. Now, the best thing about these places also is the prices. So if you got the prices, you know, so it's all in pesos. You should probably get a hamburger for three bucks, two bucks, and it's a delicious hamburger. And we're going to get to the vintage antique part of this sooner rather than later. But I just wanted to show you this portion of it where people are just coming in having fun. And again, a lot of this stuff is real merchandise. It's not fake. Some of it is fake, like I said before, but a lot of it's not. It is... Basically, as you think, it is stolen. It is hijacked. Um, ends up here. So we're going to come back around to the uh, tap area. You guys get a really clean place, really nice place, nice place to sit down. <laughs> so hopefully they don't mind us taking it. Oh. Everybody having a drink. There is security. And we're back over here. We'll take a good close up of that. I always like to ask permission. Here's this delicious food. They're making it fresh. Absolutely fresh. Absolutely just having a blast. Always like to ask permission. Always ask permission before you start filming. You just never know what you're going to run into, who you're going to run into, who wants their picture taken, who doesn't want their picture taken. Again. Enjoyable. So we're going to get into the vintage portion of the market. So the antiques. We're going to start to look at that. Now, some of this stuff is going to be crafts. Some of this stuff is going to be antiques. For some reason, my eye caught the, uh, the vintage Playboys. So, for all my friends back in Texas, I know you already probably have all these issues. You know, a lot of jewelry, a lot of doggies. Hi, doggy. Um, more food. I'm not going to go without the food. This glassware is awesome. I mean, look at this. Look at these little shot glasses. That's incredible. Oh, look at these little beer steins. 
How cool is that? I mean, you're going to be doing like shots with your friends, have those. Yep, hard boiled egg holder. At least I think it's a hard boiled egg holder. Or it could just be you're taking three shots at once. And again, my boy's back in Texas, you can tell me. All right, one thing I love about Mexico is the silver. You see all these rings for men. As you can see, that's the Tlaloc. I have one like that at home, but he's the uh, water god. Well, probably the second most powerful god in the Aztec religion. Um, and as you can see, this is all 925 silver. And it's all handmade. None of this is is made by, you know, manufacturing process like a assembly line. But a lot of this silver comes from the town of Taxco. I don't do a video on Taxco coming up soon, but you know, I see all these uh, commercials on the news. You know, I watch American news and they say, buy gold, buy silver. Silver's running out. Listen, if you've been to Taxco in Mexico, you know that silver's not running out. The place is dripping with silver. They can barely give it away. It's really cheap. I, I think you're going to really enjoy the, the video on tax code. I do plan on going back. Um, I love silver. I love silver rings. I'll show you the collection that we have at home when I do the video. Um, but it's just an amazing, amazing thing. Here we have more leather. And again, the leather here is all handmade. Belts, wallets, everything. The thing I love is antique furniture. Now, this is mid-century. This is original. Um, this table is incredible. And if you're wondering how much this antique table is which I would put in my living room in a heartbeat. Or one of these tables, and there's a pair of them. And again, how friggin' incredible is that? Craftsmanship. You got the little desk side, desk there. All right, you got the dresser or whatever you want to call it there. For your 80 inch TV, another desk. Now these tables, going back, one table is 100 pesos. That antique double sit stacker, double decker table is 150 pesos. So you're talking, what, five bucks for a table? Five to six bucks for a table. Love antique furniture. I will never buy furniture in a regular store ever again, unless it's a bed, you know, a mattress and a mattress frame. That's it. That's the only thing I would ever buy. If you're, you're buying furniture in one of these stores where it's cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to furnish your home, you're doing it wrong. Even if you're in the U.S., go to estate sales, go to these antique stores, go to um, all the furniture you know, rehab stores that you can find throughout the United States and get the stuff cheap. And it's better. It's got way more of a character building for your house. We've gone to the stick now. Let's see if we can get some better footage. Again, we have some antique furniture. The table and chairs there, 900 US dollars. Keep moving. Looks like things people just make. We have some glasses, antique typewriters, ashtrays, a lot of ashtrays. Where does this people stop smoking? And we have stacks and stacks of ashtrays. I guess if you get a bar at home and you know people are allowed to smoke in your house, I guess pretty cool to have these antique glass ashtrays. Stones, stonework, masks. Uh, one thing you have to be aware of, you will find uh, Nazi memorabilia here, um, swastikers, things like that. You will find that type of stuff, but it's not that they're promoting it. They're really not. It's just it's history, so they just they don't react to it the way I guess the people actually fought in World War II would react to it. So let's check out this side over here.
Yeah. No, see. Antiques, yeah. clocks, hats, telephones, if you want a telephone. And then you got like a booth right next to it. It's got glassware. If you wanted a antique lamp and you needed the, the glass for it, or if you just needed for yourself some glasses. And again, we got more brassware there. We talked about the idea for knives being a thing here, but also memorabilia from World War II. Again, a lot of knives, very cool. I used to carry a Swiss Army knife myself. And like I said, World War II memorabilia. We've got a bomber jacket there right next to some. Uh, those are original Nazi flags from the 40s. And so, again, it's not that they're condoning it. They just, it's, it's history that's, wow, this thing's heavy. It's this thing that's removed. It's not something that happened. ¿Qué precio tiene el corazón? Ah, 150. Es It's like something out of an old cartoon, Bugs Bunny. Give me all your money. So we finally made it to the other side of the market here, and it's a whole other market to go. Quite amazing. So it's just going to keep going and going. Of course, if you want a banquet table, here you go. With full shut of chairs. And as you can see, it continues back all the way down the street and into the neighborhood of Tapito. And then we still have to go across the street where we started, where there's even more. So stay tuned. Some hand chairs, but as I said, furniture, 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 furniture. If you can't furnish your home with nice mid-century antique furniture, get yourself some nice vintage clothing, real cheap, then you're doing it wrong. Unless you like to spend money. I guess that's the thing. So we're going to continue. I think we're kind of hungry. We're going to stop and get some meat. Probably going to go back to where the paella was and, uh, eat there at least i think some of us will i'm more into that barbecue you know more furniture vintage clothing and again i'd stop and, and and do more shopping but really this place closes a couple hours and i haven't even covered half of the market so i might end up having you to come back or try to run through the other half in an hour which Let's face it, the gringo don't run nowhere. Oh, rugs, blankets, science explained. And your electronics. You can find some electronics in here and you could repair it. <laughs> Have a good time. But just overall, good stuff. All right. I ordered a lemonade. It came pink with flowers and a leaf and a lemon and some strawberries. It's the most decorated lemonade I've ever had in my life. So we'll see how it tastes. Hi, everyone. Gringo here. So as you can see, we needed to end the video. It was five o'clock in that afternoon, so and we were hungry. So we, we had some of those delicious baguettes that we showed you, roast beef, prosciutto, some delicious salads, some paella, chicken nuggets and french fries for the kids. The lemonade was awesome, both natural and mineral water. Um, so we had a, a delicious dinner, but it was five o'clock and the market in Tapito was closing, so we needed to leave and get into our Uber and get to our next destination. Um, we will be going back. We only saw about 50% of that entire market. 
So we have a whole other 50% to go. And who knows what we're going to find there, uh, what little treasures, what little, little gems we're going to find there. Uh, but we will be going back, and we will be going back soon to make another video. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. It was a blast. It was a blast meeting everybody. It was a blast seeing all the vendors and all the products and all the, the antiques. Um, it was really a good time. And I really want to thank you for supporting me by watching this video. Um, if you did like the video, if you learned something, please leave a like, um, comment, subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications. It really helps out the channel, really trying to grow this channel. Um, and because of people like you watching the content I'm making, I'm able to do this uh, and do something that I'm, I'm really falling in love with doing. So thank you very much. You are much appreciated. Um, but until then, um, if you want, go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. I tweet every now and again. So it's at the reluctant gringo, same handle there on Twitter. And we will open up an Instagram as soon as possible. Um, but other than that, I hope you, like I said, you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back for more. And until then, from south of the border, I'm the reluctant gringo. Salute and a huevo.